In today's video, we're talking PSI tips. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a little airbrush tips and tricks for the beginner. Now, when you're a beginner, you struggle to get your airbrush set up on what sort of PSI setting to, to get to grips with when you're spraying. So I'm gonna give you a little run through on PSI settings and what's best to work with sort of a ballpark to go in at when you're first trying out your airbrush and getting it set up for the first time. So we've got the PS270 linked up to the airline and on the main airline, I'm running the brush. So the main airline setting on your compressor is coming in at 25 PSI. That will be coming up your main line to the brush. So you'll get a rough idea of what 25 PSI sounds like. I've got the Mac valve on this open fully out. So that's 25 PSI. And as you can see, that blasts out water really, really easy. So if you set your compressor up, ballpark 25 PSI up your main line, you'll be good to go on this little test piece that I'm doing if you're following along with me. So we've got two types of paint. I've got a liquid um, airbrush paint by Golden. This is the thicker consistency and I've actually got a transparent one by a Golden. These are both, this one is mainly airbrush paint and this one is sort of a thicker, same product as golden paints but it's just a little bit thicker and we'll, we'll thin this down and you'll see what I mean by different air pressures. So if we drop the transparent straight in and spray this at 25 psi we're about two or three inches from the panel this will spray absolutely fine at that. Even going down nice and close this consistent set with this air pressure sprays absolutely fine. So that's why I always base my airbrushing on 25 PSI. And if I'm using the Mac valve and going in really detailed, we can drop it down on the front or you can drop it down on your gauge there, but we'll talk through that in a minute. So that's with transparent, we're gonna drop some water in there and make that really thin. Just blast that through. And that's still spraying good, but when you go up closer, the paint's just wetting up and just starting to bleed out. So when you've got it really thin like this, you really thin your paint down and it's like this, so you can literally wipe it off the paper. That's when you've got to start bringing your air pressure down. So we'll just bring that in on the Mac valve. And this is probably about 10 PSI. And then you've got that same consistency again as you've had on this side when we put the normal transparent in, because I've dropped the pressure, it's not forcing that paint out. You've got nice, consistent paint flow again by dropping your pressure. So another little guideline is, if you've really thinned your paint, drop your pressure down. Don't stick at 25, drop it right down to about 10, even down to about eight PSI, and then you'll get that nice atomization and you'll get the flow just right again. So that's what you can do when you've got real thin paint. When you start to thick, thicken your paint up, and I'll just show you what this paint's like. Drop a little bit there. This one is a lot thicker. As you can see, the body of that paint is a lot thicker. So you could put that straight into the airbrush, and this is what will happen when you drop this one straight into the brush. So it's a lot thicker. This will spray. But it's a little bit grainy on the sides. And that's at full 25 PSI. So it is spraying this. But it's a little bit grainy and you can hear that brush. The air pressure and the air sounds very gritty as it's coming out when you hear it. So that's when you know you've just got to drop a little bit of water in. And give this a little back mix by just pinching over your needle and nozzle like that. Bubble back. And now you've got your nice consistency again to paint with. So a lot of it is 
your consistency of your paint, getting your paint consistency right. If you set a ballpark of 25 PSI and work from there, you'll know to knock your pressure back when you're working on detail and you're going in close. You don't want that air pressure too high because you can be blasting the paint over when you're really close. You want to get your paint consistency just right. So aim for like a transparent type consistency and then you can drop your pressure down when you're going in close. If you've got thicker paints, you'll hear it when you spray it. If you've got it in your brush, it'll sound grainy. The air, pre the air sounds a lot different when you're trying to force out the paint when it's a lot thicker, you get that gritty type sound. So just knock your paint back, thin it down, and then you get that nice, and you can hear by the brush, that's just flowing really, really nice. And it makes life a lot easier guys so psi ballpark 25 thin your paint down start to bring your pressure down if it's a little bit thick just give it a go on a test panel you hear that you'll hear the change in the noise of the airbrush it'll be sound gritty and grainy and then just mix your paint try and aim your paint consistency mix to like a transparent and you'll be good to go when you're painting so i hope this little video has helped you out on psi settings ballpark 25 Good to go guys if you're a beginner so thanks for watching don't forget if you're new to the channel click that subscribe press that notification and i'll see you in the next one cheers